Hi, uh, my name's Joshua Burton and this is my video blog for my personal and professional development module. During this video I will reflect on my previous year of study, identifying strengths and weaknesses. I will also identify personal and professional skills I have attained, describe my activities during the summer period, introduce my second year journey so far, including information about placements and practicing two interview questions before concluding my video. After my exams had finished from first year, I decided to reflect and analyse my own per performance within the year. I will use Gibbs' reflective model. The model shows me that there is much more to reflecting than just thinking about the past. The model shows me six steps which are to be undertaken to positively reflect on a situation and potentially stop negative experiences reoccurring. The six steps of describing feelings or describing description, feelings, evaluation, analysis, conclusion, and action plan. Overall, I felt the year went well, keeping to deadlines and preparing for examinations. I achieved a grade of 2 1 with a percentage of 63.8%. I was extremely pleased with this as I felt the hard work I had put in had paid off. To help me maintain this level of achievement, I will keep developing my skills and maintain a high level of engagement and application towards university studies. If I had to pick any improvements, it would be my note taking within lectures. I feel I learn better from listening so don't take many notes with the intentions of writing notes at a later date, but sometimes they end up leaving note taking until last and have to spend other time catching up. This adds unnecessary stress into my already busy timetable. To try and stop this from reoccurring, I will try to take notes and listen or make sure I catch up as soon as possible. Upon completion of my first year of university study, studying business management and marketing at Nottingham Trent Business School, I found several of my personal and professional skills had improved. The skills I feel I have improved are including, are including punctuality and attendance, organisational skills, working as a group, essay writing styles and Harvard referencing. During the summer, I work full-time at my current employer, Aldi. Here I further develop my people skills, as I'm expected to meet targets, demonstrating a punctual and efficient work ethic whilst remaining professional and competent in customer services. I also travel during the summer period. First of all, as I have a personal interest in music, I attended a week-long inner-city music festival called Sonar. Sonar is held in Barcelona, with events of music, art and culture being held around the city at different locations. I found the experience very rewarding as I got not only to do what I enjoy in listening and watching music artists and DJs, but I was also able to see the sights of Barcelona. Next I took a trip to Amsterdam, Berlin and Paris, staying in each location for just two nights. Here I really enjoyed experiencing the different cultures, architectures and food. Amsterdam I have visited before and I also enjoyed the Amsterdam I have visited before, so I, I know the place very well, and I also enjoyed the relaxed atmosphere when returning. Berlin for me was the best, as there is a very diverse society, with a great music scene within the city. Paris I decided to try one of their local delicacies, snails. I found them okay, but wouldn't eat them regularly. Finally I took a trip back to Ibiza. In the summer of 2015, I worked in Ibiza as a day street PR for Space Nightclub. Going back, I had the chance to see some good friends from work in the summer season and relax and enjoy the weather and the nightlife. From these personal and professional skills, I feel I have made a confident transition onto year two of my course. Within the first semester, work has been demanded much faster compared to year one, with multiple formative and summative deadlines working alone and as part of a group. I feel the skills I attained from the first year have aided me in being able to cope with this amount so early on in the year. 
Part of my second year, I will need to apply to work placements in the hope of gaining a place for my third year of university. Potentially, I will have interviews to attend where I will have to answer questions, potentially like, what are your unique selling points? What has been the greatest achievement to date outside of academia? So, in practice for this, I have answered these questions. First of all, what are your unique selling points? My unique selling points include a number of attributes. First of all, as I have held employment since a young age and experienced different cultures, I believe I have developed a high level of people skills, whether that be working, whether that be in the working environment or within society. I have successfully dealt with a number of situations such as customer complaints, 999 emergencies and integrating into different cultures around the world. Secondly, I believe my honest and confident yet professional personality enables me to have the ability to succeed, whether that be working with customers or within a group. From a professional ability, I feel I am a natural born leader. This shows within my work career. As at a young age, I was promoted to supervisor for the cooperative food and whilst working within a beefer, I was made head promoter of the team. Finally, throughout my academic life, I have gained a number of key skills, including organisational skills, working in groups, academic writing, high levels of IT skills, dealing with exam periods and meeting important deadlines. The next question is, what has been your greatest achievement to date outside of academia? My greatest achievement, which isn't academic, I would say was the time I spent working the summer in Ibiza. Before I took the opportunity, I lacked confidence in my ability, often taking the easy route out. After landing on the island with nowhere to live, no job, and minimum money in the bank, I pushed myself into anything I could. With this newfound confidence and attitude to succeed, I made new friends, gained employment, and lived independently all summer integrating with the local community and even started to learn Spanish. I hope I am hoping to push myself to achieve in the second year as well as, if not better than the first year, aiming for a grade of 2-1 or higher. I also am required to gain a work placement for the following year, so I need to apply myself in the process of the applications and the working environment. This has been my video blog for my personal and professional development to module. Thank you.